What's up everybody? It's Kelsey Brianna J and today I'm going to share with you all my August, no wait, September. My September favorites. September went by so fast I didn't even know which month I was doing my favorites for. I'm just saying, like that's ridiculous. But <laughs> I pulled a few things that I want to share with you all that I have loved throughout the month that went by so fast. I just blinked and it was over and I was like, dang, was it really September? Like, are we really here in October? Yeah, I have some things to share that are makeup related. I have a few things to share that are Kelsey on culture related. And then you already know we're going to talk about Kelsey's comment corner. So let's go ahead and jump into it really fast though if you all are interested in my look i did just do a tutorial using the Too faced gingerbread extra spicy eyeshadow palette so that's what's on my list and then i'll have the rest of my makeup details down in the description box so check there for the makeup details because you all don't be knowing but it takes 50 hours to do the description box so sorry if sometimes I don't have the stuff in the description box the same day cuz dang I already had worked on the video for four five six seven eight nine ten hours I just needed a little break <laughs> I try with the description box but by the time you finish editing taking pictures doing this doing that that description box it's like i'll just get back to that in a minute honey because child i already been working on this video for seven hours literally sometimes seven hours but anyways let's go ahead and get into these products okay so i don't want anybody here to come for me like i really don't but i just could not resist getting this eye cream i know i talked about it i was like i don't need it i already have eye creams that are open but let me tell you how i justified this to myself some of the eye creams that I had open had been open for too long. So they were a little bit older. So I needed to replace them with something fresher. That's how I did that. So I went ahead and got this. This is the Tatcha, the Silk Peony eye cream. And I got this for the sole purpose of using it underneath my makeup. Because not only is it an eye cream, but it's also kind of like a little baby under eye primer. Because it's supposed to smooth out. It works well with your makeup. And everything it claims to do, it does. Tatcha makes some of the best products. I almost am about to go full Tatcha only for my skincare. Because their products are great so well with me like for my skin anything that I've ever tried from Tatcha always works well with me I have never broken out from using any Tatcha products they always are super nice I love the presentation I love the culture of the company because I feel like they incorporate so much of Japanese heritage into the story of the products because to me the story of how you created a product and the inspiration is it's not as important as the product sometimes you might not have a story you just might have a bomb product and that's okay but if you have a story as to how you created that bomb product like that really ties me in as a customer and it makes me more interested so I love this so next this baby right here I feel like you all know me and you know that this was going to make the cut the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette is just everything for fall this is the perfect fall color story it has legitimately every single thing that I need it has some sultry colors if you want to get sexy with it it has everything you need to do an everyday look it's just perfection i love these colors i think that they look so good on so many different complexions i've seen so many different people do looks using this palette and i think that they are all gorgeous i almost always can see when somebody has this palette on and that's because this palette has distinction it's a neutral based eyeshadow palette that has pops of color but overall i think the hues in this palette and the finish of the eyeshadows is so unique that it just stands out from the crowd so i love it i think natasha denona did a fabulous job with this palette and this is definitely rising to the top of one of my favorite Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes and I know that you all are looking for me to re-rank my palettes because I did my ranking video about a year ago almost at this point and so there's been so many new launches from her I know that you all are like Kelsey where's your ranking video trust me it's coming and by the way I just want to throw this out there because a lot of people don't know where the ranking videos and stuff came from I 
like to think that I started the ranking videos. Now, it may be somebody's video on the crevice of the internet from 10 years ago that was ranking stuff first, but I didn't see that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the credit for that because before I started doing my Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath ranking videos, I didn't see anybody saying that they were ranking eyeshadows or whatever. Since the beginning of YouTube, there's always been people that are saying that this is their top five, top this, top that, but nobody ever said ranking. So I incorporated ranking because I love lists. And I like to rank things against each other. So that's where I came up with that concept. So I'm going to take credit for that. I've not seen a lot of people give me credit for that. And I've been seeing people rank things beyond eyeshadow palettes, blushes, like you name it. People have been ranking it. And I think not a lot of people know where it derived from. But your girl created ranking. Yes, I said it. No shade to anybody that did not give me the credit, but I just wanted to let you all know that I made that up, I'm just saying. So, for my next favorite, I'm gonna keep riding this Natasha Denona wave. These, these lipsticks. Natasha, I love them. Natasha Denona came through and she murdered the lipstick game. These nude lipsticks have been on my lips since I got them, I wear them at least three or four times a week, and that's a lot. I have them sitting right there for me to get them really quickly. I didn't put them in my drawers deep somewhere. I kept them out, and I have been using them. I'm going to link below my Natasha Denona I Need Nudes lipstick video. You all can see me try them on, and I love all of them. Like, they all give me a different look. They're all neutral nude lipsticks, but they all look so different on me, and I can wear them with any different look love them they are formulated to perfection next is the Vizia Grand Pro volume 3 palette and this palette is so fun it's so well made it is a matte eyeshadow palette which I love and this one is more colorful and I love this palette because it has the colorful eyeshadows and the warm tones in here so if you're traveling and you want to have the best of both worlds and you don't necessarily want to take two different palettes you don't want to have a warm toned palette and a colorful palette boom this has what you need in one palette. The quality is there. You can mix these shades. You can go with a softer, warm-toned look. You can go with a green, sultry look. Or you can go with a very cool, blue look. Love this palette. You cannot go wrong with Viseart Matte Eyeshadows. I promise you that. Pick a 12-pan eyeshadow palette if you don't want to get this one. But trust me, once you try them, you'll be like, okay, all right. I, I, see, I see what you did there. I love this. This is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Foundation and Concealer. Now, I have been holding off on telling you all how much I love it because I have not uploaded my review video for this yet. The video was done, and at this point, it has been done for a while. I just have not had the time to edit that video because I've been bombarded with so many new products and you all know that certain products are a little bit more time sensitive than others so I keep placing other things in front of it and I'm like you know what that deserves some shine and I just want to let you all know that I loved that last month but I didn't say it because I hadn't gotten that video up and here we are in an entirely different monthly favorites video and I still haven't gotten that video up but I promise you I am putting it up i'm gonna give that foundation and concealer some shine because it is bomb.com next because it's eyeshadow season always i love this palette i know good quality when i see it this palette is $60, which is pretty expensive for Anastasia, but you get 25 shades in here, and all 25 of these shades are beautiful. This one is the Volume 2 palette. I have all three of the Volume videos up now, and this one definitely is my favorite. I don't know how many more looks I'm going to do on my channel with this palette. We are in the thick of holiday season at this point, and so there's so many new products that are coming out, and you all know, like, my channel is based on reviews and getting those up really fast, so it's hard for me to go back and do something that I've already done right now especially in a high peak season but I have been a lot more selective with what I purchase which is a separate topic I just can't keep up with everything anymore and I feel like a lot of people feel that way and for me to say that like I'm a person who was keeping up with everything like it's just become a lot but just know that even though I've slowed down some like I still have a lot of things to review and I still have a lot of videos to give you all 
So, for those of you all asking for more videos with certain products that I've already done, I will try my best to incorporate those videos during the holiday season. But if I don't get around to it in October, November, and December, just know January and February, then probably the beginning of March will be dedicated to that. So, if you're purchasing holiday stuff here with me, then just know I am going to continue to use these products into next year. So, there's that. So, another product that I'm not really sure... If the video is going to be up for the review for this collection before this video is up, but if it's not, still watch the video, still support, but know that I love this. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Quad from the Ghost Collection for holiday 2019, and it's Oh, I love this. So I still have a few more trips to go on before the year is over. And honey, this is getting packed. <laughs> this is everything I need for a travel blush companion. It's small, it's compact. It has four different colors. It has your pink, it has your bronze, your coral, and your neutrally plum color. Boom, this is everything that I need. I cannot wait to show you all what this looks like on my skin. You all know I don't like a really bold blush for the most part. Like sometimes I'll do it, but overall, I like a more subtle blush because I like to be a little bit more bold and daring with my eye look or my lips. But typically for blush, I like to just be a little bit more muted because my face is already round and my cheeks are already like bad out. So I don't like to have like heaviness on my cheek area because I feel like it just makes me look clownish. And these blushes right up my alley. They're amazing. One more product that I am loving to the point where I could not even keep them clean. <sighs> Sonya G. Sonya G, the Sky Face Set. She is a genius. I've said it so many times on my channel. That G in Sonya G stands for genius. Sonya's brushes are such high quality. From the type of hair that she uses, to the shapes of the brushes, to the handles, just every single detail is not overlooked and I just think she does a fantastic job in the creation of her brushes and this brush set is just amazing. It is a reason why her brush sets are priced the way that they are but yet they still sell out in record time and then they take a while to come back. It's because people know that these are amazing and you can tell that these are really nice handcrafted brushes. So kudos to her. So those are all the products that I loved throughout the month of September. Now let's talk about some PR products that I received. These brushes are by a brand and I hope I am pronouncing it correctly, Elysium. I already have opened them and I have been playing with them and I do like these brushes. They also sent me some lashes and their lashes are cool because they have like a tint at the end of them. So like this pair is black but then it has little streaks of pink in there so it'll be really cute to pop out your look. If you wanted to add these on to add an accent of color, it's like an unexpected pop of color. It's like, oh, do you have color on your lashes? Yes. Yes I do. So these are really nice high quality vegan brushes. So there's different ones. We have some for the face. We have some for the eyes. We have some shapes that I am really excited about, especially this one because it is an angled brush, but at the same time, it's still thick. So I love stuff like that for my bronzer. This one is called the Yori brush. We have an all over flat powder brush in a shape that I really, really love. Like I love this shape because it's domed and it's a little bit compact, but it's still fluffy all over that's going to be perfect so this brush is really interesting this one is shaped like a brush that i would use to blend out my cream eyeshadow products all over my lid but it has like this little tip right here and it kind of looks like a nipple it kind of does. It's interesting because they're donating 50% of the sales of this brush during the month of October to the Hong Kong Breast Cancer Foundation. So I was like, okay, that's nice. I've never seen a brush have a little tip like that. Like, I think that's really different. And I will have a link to their website down in my description box as well. So next is a product that I am 100% excited about and it is definitely my most used thing that I have in this video. So a brand named Gobi reached out to me and said, Hi Kelsey, we would love to work with you and send you one of our toothbrushes. And normally with stuff like that, I say no just because it's not really related to my channel directly. My thought process was like, this is something that I would purchase in my life. And you know my teeth and my smile are a big part of my makeup. Like you can't come on here with a yuck mouth. 
So I went ahead and accepted and I love this toothbrush. I use it every day, morning, noon, and night. You all may not know, but I still wear my Invisalign trays. And so with my Invisalign trays, it is imperative that you brush your teeth and you brush them thoroughly. So I needed a toothbrush that was going to be heavy duty and clean my teeth as thoroughly as I needed it to. And this toothbrush has been coming through. It has a small brush head, but I like it because I detail clean my teeth. And then when I'm done brushing my teeth, they feel so good and so fresh. Like it feels like how my teeth feel after I leave the dentist for a cleaning. I kid you not, I really love this toothbrush. I mean, I was kind of apprehensive about it because the toothbrush is a little bit smaller and it, you know, I just don't have the smallest teeth, so I don't like to spend all day, you know what I mean? But I do like that it is smaller because it makes me pay a little bit more attention to the detail and it's almost like I'm polishing each tooth. So, love this. Thank you so much, Gobi. A brand named Focalure reached out to me and sent me the biggest goodie pack. And I love the way that they package this because it is secure. Like this is so hard and it's plastic and it's filled with air, but I feel confident knowing that my makeup is not going to break. This is a gel eyeliner kit. This one is called the Kits One and it comes with midnight black and dark chocolate, which good, cause I needed that. This one is an artist sketch pencil. This is an eyebrow pencil. They sent me some lacquered lipsticks, which I'm excited about. I have a silky ombre blush. These eyeshadow palettes, Perth. Paris, Prague, and a few more goodies. So I'm excited to open these up and play with them. Let me know if you all want me to go a little bit more in depth with this, but thank you so much, Focalore. I appreciate it and I cannot wait to open up these products and swatch and discover your brand. So I have a few more packages. This one is from Color Queen. So first they sent me their eyeshadow palette. And it says Color Queen Beauty and it has a little slip over it. And here's the palette. So it has bright colors. And then we have a few neutrals down here. We have some shimmers down here. We have the mattes at the top. So I'm excited to play and use that. They have a very interesting color story. They also sent me a lipstick. This one is in the color Wonders. This is a serious blue color. Okay, so it's a little bit more sheer than it looks in the tube. But it's definitely straight up blue. I don't really wear, you know, blue, green, all those type colors on my lips anymore. But my little cousins do. So I think I'm going to pass this along to them. But that's a really interesting color. Thank you so much, Color Queen Beauty. So the last bit of PR that I'm going to share with you all is by Erno Laszlo. And I am so excited to get this from them because I have been looking at them for such a long time, but I've never tried anything from them. This brand has been around for such a long time, probably longer than most of us have been alive. This brand used to work with people like Audrey Hepburn and Marilyn Monroe. They created customized skincare routines for them. So I think that bit of history is really cool. They sent me some little stickers. I'm gonna put these in my planner. Ooh, okay. In this letter is Marilyn Monroe's original ritual, and this was prescribed by Dr. Erno Laszlo. And this is dated to her March 17th, 1959. So I chose a hydrating set because I know it's about to get cold outside and my skin is about to get a little bit drier. So this one is a hydrating cleanser. This one is the Hydrate and Nourish Hydrotherapy Foaming Cleanse. The Hydrate and Nourish Moisturizer. It says that this is a Hydra or a Hydra Therapy Memory Sleep Mask. The Hydrate and Nourish Serum. And then a little sample of the White Marble Cleansing Oil. So thank you so much to Erno Laszlo. I'm excited to try out these products. And thank you so much to everybody who sent me PR. If you have anything that you would like to send me, I will have my PO Box listed down below. Kelsey on Culture. I just want to talk about power really quickly and I'm really sad that power is ending but at the same time I'm happy that it's ending because it's been a long journey and we've been with this show for years now at this point. I've seen the characters evolve and then regress and then evolve and then now we're regressing a little bit because at this point I'm just like I'm sick of it. Every single time we're about to keep our head above water and make a wave when we can here comes somebody with a temporary layoff like I absolutely cannot. So. I'm excited to see how the show is going to end. I know that we're only going to get a few more episodes and then they said they're coming back in January. I'm staying tuned. So now let's do a little bit of Kelsey's Comments Corner. 
So the first comment comes from Mayron Chavez and she says, hashtag Kelsey Brianna Bay. So I told you all in my last video that somebody called me that and I thought that that was the cutest thing ever. And so then I told Mill and so Mill is like trying to get me to change my name to Kelsey Brianna Bay for real. And I'm like, no girl, but you know, that's cute or whatever, but that's cute. So she says that and it says that look is fire. One of the best I've seen yet, period. LOL, I know it's Jay, but that bay is flowing good on ya. I hope you make it big in this industry. We need new blood and your looks giving me life. So once again, shout out, hashtag Kelsey Brianna Bay. Spread the trend. Ugh. Wish you the best. Can't wait to see you grow. Thank you so much. That was a sweet comment. So the next comment comes from Anonymous Prepper. She says, I am a fairly new subby because I've noticed no matter what foundation slash powder slash palette I was looking up, your reviews popped up. So when I was looking up reviews on Chanel foundation and you popped up again, I just subscribed, girl, because you wore me down. So what I have to say to that is every step you take, every move you make, Every single day and every night you pray, I'll be watching you. <laughs> Girl, let me tell you something. Being a Kale Bell is a choice. Like you can either be with me or not. Like it's up to you. I'm not trying to wear you down. I want you to be here because you want to be here. Not because you feel obligated, but because you want to be here. And the last comment comes from Erica P. She says, Kelsey, your artistry is next level bomb. Thank you. You're always on trend with a step above while staying true to yourself. I've become bored with YouTube and the beauty community, but I believe in you. Keep up the amazing work. Thank you so much, Erica. I appreciate that because I understand that as a person who watches YouTube, the way that I used to consume YouTube back in the day is totally different now. And I know a lot of that has to do with the fact that I am a little bit older. So my time is a little bit more constructed. Like I don't have as much free time as I used to have when I was younger. So I don't just sit and watch and watch and watch YouTube videos, especially not beauty YouTube videos, even though this is my community. I do like to support and I watch my peers and people that support me and people that I really enjoy watching but overall just watching videos all day like I used to I just don't do that I do understand that from a viewers standpoint so I appreciate you still watching me and believing in me even if you don't watch every single video I appreciate you for the support on the ones that you do watch and that goes for everybody so thank you so much for those amazing comments I really appreciate that and thank you all so much who have watched the entire video and made it to the end with me I appreciate you for staying and rocking with me let me know what products and things that you loved during the month of September and let me know what you are looking forward to in the month of October. There are so many new things coming out. We are just beginning holiday season so we are just seeing the tip of the iceberg because I already know that companies are about to go ham with launches and different products that they're sneak peeking. So just stay tuned. I'm fastening up my seatbelt. I'm focused. I'm ready to end out this last quarter with a bang. I'm going hard both on my YouTube channel as well as on my Instagram page so if you don't follow me on there you are missing out on looks honey because I serve the looks I love Instagram and I want to be a little bit more involved on Instagram this coming up month as well as throughout the holiday season because I want to connect with you all on a daily basis but I like the conversation and I like being able to see you as a person so if I'm talking to you on Instagram I can click your profile and I can see your picture and then I can know you because so far most of you all just kind of know me and I see your little bitty Abby and I recognize a few faces it's like the people that always comment but you know on Instagram like you can see a little bit better but make sure you're following me on Instagram everywhere that you want to reach me ever is Kelsey Brianna J so YouTube Instagram Twitter Facebook Snapchat Apple music anything is Kelsey Brianna J I like to keep it consistent so I look forward to reading you all's comments down in the comment section and I will check you all in my very next video which will be Woo, the way that I'm going, hopefully tomorrow. Smooches. Bye.